so Bill Burr is a very iconic American comedian um, who is very popular um, by many people. Um, I heard from some of his skits throughout the years. Um, so I know of him and he is very good at his craft. Um, but the one I'm going to react to today, I've never heard of yet. So I was looking through his list and I saw something that said lotion. And I'm like, okay. Lotion, just the name itself, when you know you're talking about comedy, sounds funny before you even hear anything. Uh, we believe on this channel that there are two things we feel that are essential in life, music and comedy. It doesn't have to be every day. It doesn't have to be all day. But we think that if you need a sane life, you need some type of music and or comedy in your life at some point in time so that's why this channel really focuses on music and comedy um hopefully you've never seen this before so you could hopefully laugh um we do our reaction uh comedies a little bit differently we will pause them periodically throughout because um the reason we don't pause music videos is because it really breaks being immersed into the song when you pause it but reaction uh comedies are different so make sure that you also support the artists we're really big on music appreciation and comedy appreciation so i'll have the links of his youtube channel so i'll have the links of his youtube channel in the description so you can go and support and give him some love so uh without further ado let's get into this and see what this comedy skit is all about i'll commentate a little bit more afterwards hope you're also having a really good day and thanks for coming into our channel. So here we go. Do you know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. Yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> what is this lotion you speak of? And what is the magic therein? A good, a good side of a comedian is when you laugh within the first 60 seconds. At least I feel that. Um, I just felt it was going to be funny he was talking about lotion, but that's why you get facelifts. That just cracks me up. Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you was starting to look like an aging pirate. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. An aging pirate in the rest of your body. I'm just, I'm really big on visuals. So, like, I had a visual with this disturbed me. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Oh, my God. Because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. To one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they got, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. The smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying. <laughs> Smoke starts coming up. I'm like, damn, that's assy. Oh my god, his his it's all about the delivery of a message. I say that sometimes in our music videos, well, in the comments to some trolls and stuff. But I got that reference from comedians because two comedians could say the same joke, like the the words part, but if one delivers it badly, it's received differently. 
So the same thing is all about the delivery of a message. When you want to convey something to somebody or say something to somebody, um, it's all how you deliver the message. Because then you might get a different receiving than you expected. So anyway, let's get back to it. His his delivery of of messages is stellar. Oh my god! <laughs> flying off track marks. You smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy. Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. <laughs> See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. Yeah. There's too much information in the world and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register. I know that's right. One of my, um, well, actually, Philly. Philly, the other better half of this channel, he would call me like ashy bows for ashy elbows sometimes. And like, it wasn't that bad. But the point is, it's it can be noticeable, you know, on a person of color. Uh, so that's just funny as hell. Mister, your weapon. We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Right? <laughs> just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. If he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. <laughs> how, do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I like the way he does it, how he carries on the joke by the scratching and stuff like that. So he's very, very good at that. Like, he's very, very masterful at that. Like, um, I'm I try to be like attention to detail because I'm a freelance web designer, so I'm always looking everywhere. So I like how he carries that joke on as he's saying new material um, or whatever. So really, really cool. This is funny as hell. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so see, there you go. All right. You don't need a facelift, okay? Lay off the booze, do some cardio, moisturize. You're gonna be fine, <laughs> okay? Don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> they all get a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dunk themselves in it, shake themselves off and walk out the door absolutely glistening, glistening. White guys like me are walking around, no hat on. Hey, let's go sailing. <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. <laughs> Speaking of Oh my God. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, that was funny. That was fine. I know that was a shorter version, but I didn't know when it was going to end. So figure to end it when you're getting good to it. But uh, I wanted to give you a dose of it. So to see if you heard of him before, hopefully you have. Or see if you've seen this skit before. Uh, definitely please let us know like in the comments. We want to know how you felt about this. This channel represents music and comedy appreciation. Our focus is to gain more exposure and notoriety to the musicians and the comedians of the world. And let everything else happen organically. Um, so we believe in supporting them because 
we need it ourselves. As I said earlier, music and comedy, we I believe, is two essential things you need in your lives. So, of course, that applies to me, too. So I've laughed many, many times when I wasn't in a good mood and laughter got me through it or music got me through something happy or sad or, or in between. Um, they both, I feel, are essential at some points of your lives. So this was great. I love this. I, I had a great feeling about it being about lotion. And again, his delivery was fantastic. So <laughs> I still can't get over that. Um, let us know your thoughts. Hopefully that you like it. Uh, again, I'll have the links inside the description so to support the bill. Uh, but yeah, any um, recommendations you have for any um, other comedy skits from any other comedian? Please let us know, um, and you might just see them on the channel. All right. So uh, until now, until then, this is Taz with Taz and Philly. Oh, and then um, we don't really, really vote too much on this, but I'll vote anyway. I'm lying. So pass because we do our thumbs up, thumbs down. Pass if we like something. Ask if we don't. So yeah, I'll do the same thing. So pass, definitely pass because uh, I know I know not all comedians are funny. Or, or their skits are funny, but this one definitely was. So, all right, go um, have a great day. You deserve it. And uh, this is Taz with Taz and Philly, and I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>